My name is Richard Stanwick. I'm a medical doctor and have specialized training in pediatrics and public health and preventive medicine. I've also been the medical health officer for South Vancouver Island for over 20 years. In the course of that time, I've been very much involved in a number of sprays of the product 4A48B. As part of this process of engaging the public, I have certainly participated in public hearings, heard concerns, and certainly monitored them. I've also been involved in scientific studies looking at whether or not these sprays are harmful to people. The product itself is a bacteria that's found commonly in soil. Anybody who's gardened, played outdoors, or spent any time on the ground has come in contact with this bacteria. It in fact is the bacteria that Rachel Carson recommends in Silent Spring. Many people who follow organic farming practices in fact use the BTK product as this is a pathogen or harmful only to caterpillars. It does not harm bees, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals, including humans. The CRD and Capital Health Region conducted significant studies at the time of a spray in 1999 that involved us monitoring not only individuals in the spray zone, but individuals outside the spray zone. We were able to show conclusively that there were no medically significant differences between the populations, including that of the children. It's not to say that this product is without the possibility of causing minor irritation to the eyes, ears, nose, and throat. When the spray takes place, there will be adequate notification of the public. For people who do not wish to be exposed, the best thing to do is when a spray is taking place is to remain indoors for an hour with your doors and windows closed. People may wish to take an extra precaution in terms of avoiding exposure by not treading on grass or handling plants that have been sprayed for up to four hours. For more information on the Gypsy Moth and the BTK spray program, go to the BC government's Health Link website. Thank you.